Yo, what up, gamers? I'm Reprodoc, and today we're gonna be playing a Felos ADC with Leona. Let's just group with Leona here on this burst. If we can maybe get some early cheese onto some Blitz or Misfortune. Uh, I've been doing this cheese a lot in my rank games when I, whenever I don't have to leash. Uh, I just stay grouped in one burst, and we just immediately go on whoever gets closest. Usually, it's quite a bit of damage without much retaliation. So, as you can see, yep. Just don't really get the fight back in time. We can avoid the hook. He's not even throwing it. Nice. Yeah, just gonna make sure I don't get hit by that. Avoiding getting, uh, avoiding going for a loss to death. It means I'm gonna go uh, get hit by the blitz hook. So as you can see, we just gain a massive lead on lane just like that. It's fortune already having to trigger potion. Yeah, so I'm playing a Felis today because I want to try out the both that I've been seeing a lot lately after the shield bone nerf, which is Gil Force. Uh, obviously, it's not nothing new on a Felis, but I've had to play against it a lot now, and I never actually noticed before just how burst the uh, Gil Force can make a Felis. Like I'm getting cheesed so much by that, just random ass solo kills where I'm not expecting a Felis to one shot me. So I'm gonna build a Felis. Uh, I'm gonna build Gil Force this game, and we'll see if I can try and replicate some of that. Gonna be rushing the Gale Force straight up. Uh, first item before before even boots. I got really cheesed by Nephelos yesterday actually, who just built that like first item without any boots or anything. And I just got so shocked by the burst. Gave him a free kill on me when I wasn't expecting it. Also, it's gonna be very important against the Misfortune anyway. Uh, in general, if you're a mobile champion, I would definitely recommend building Gil Force if you're facing Misfortune, since you can't dash out of the ultimate any other way. Okay, I'm just kind of waiting for Leona to actually hit an engage here. Or for Bliss to hit a hook on Leona either way. And in the meantime, I just can't really engage. Or like go for any like heavy trades against Misfortune, I can risk uh, getting hooked. Okay, he is coming in for a gank. Ooh. Okay, nice. Okay. Do I live here? Oh, I do for now. But not for long, right? Unless. 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 We're good, we're good. Let's fucking go. Uh, wave state could be better. Shit, is there a mid laner coming for us? Let's risk it. Holy shit, nice one. What a bait. I got him to flash through and I just healed the, the exact moment he actually did his Q damage on me. So look, my HP didn't change even though he Q'd me. Kind of funny timing. Okay, nice one. I was pretty lucky though that his W didn't come up in time to finish me off. God bless. Alright, we got the exact perfect amount for Nukriver, which is huge. Nice one. I did unfortunately actually miss out on a lot of farm there. Actually, Misfortune ends up uh, ahead in farm here. But uh, should be at least ahead in XP, I hope. Not actually too sure though, because she's already level 4. Strange. Also, she also got a kill though, so um, yeah, it's not like I got a massive lead here. But at least uh, Kha'Zix got nothing there and you got a kill, so overall our team does end up ahead. Just not necessarily me on bot lane. So I might just end up picking, just a tier, picking up a tier 1 boots. Uh, we want to go aggressive on Misfortune here. A very bad trade there, but worth it if we get the kill. Shit. Oh, Leona. <laughs> oh well. You 
Yes, yeah, so what we're probably going to be doing second item as well is um, uh, Bloodthirster. Just to be a very popular option in the Phyllis right now. Second item whenever you uh, are not doing Shield Bow, which is, you know, most of the time now. I don't think it's worth it on a Phyllis anymore. I'm just going to back here since I'm lacking quite a bit of HP. Please don't do me his vision. Okay, that was such a risk for me. Holy shit. All right, since I said, uh, yeah, I would just want to rush the Guild Force straight up. In the spirit of that is going to be going for the Quick Cloak. No boots, no dagger, no longsword. They got no exhaust to be mitigating my burst to level 6 once I got the go for us, so. Let's see what we can do with that. Ow. That's all my HP gone again, just like that. Ah. Man, she's beating my ass. Also, how did my push not consume there? Damn. Yeah, at least place went down. As usual, guys, we're maxing E second. Way too many fellows players still maxing W second. You only want to do E max second at the moment. Hmm. Potentially a bit greedy, but I actually want to stay here because I don't actually have enough for anything like pickaxe at the moment, which is what I would really want to get. I only wanted to stay. Actually, I don't know if I should have envisioned there, but. Shit, I might have been seen by a minion there. Okay, that's the win. Watch this, watch this. Wait, what? Why did I throw Q down? I didn't press Q there. Weird. Also, my Chakrams ran out. I, I had less Chakrams than I should have there. That was weird. Also, wait, I... Did I mess up my Skullord at some point? Did I just use too much white? I need to get rid of uh, gr uh, red here. Fuck, man, I'm so close to Gale Force, but it's not really worth staying here. That would be really greedy. We'll just get it soon. I'll get pick up boots in the meantime. Not worth picking up a potion at this point either. At this point, it's too late into the game for refillable, and just single potions uh, are also not going to be like effective enough, in my opinion, to be worth the gold. <coughs> Okay, while I'm waiting for this to crash, I'm just gonna boost my assist per minute a little bit here by uh, grabbing this Gromp. And my Yee, as you can see, is not gonna be getting this anytime soon, so he's not really gonna miss out on this. There we go. I'm just gonna also be spamming Q. I just wanna get rid of this, uh, this red. Uh, I don't want to get rid of white before that. I don't wanna risk that, so I'm just gonna be spamming Q, even though I don't have any use for actually using Q. We don't wanna fight right now either while I don't have ult. And while this wave is pushing against us. There we go. Okay, so I can try and go for a triple weapon combo here. Well, I've got white on sub, 10 ammo, and I've got uh, green in my offhand. Okay. If this doesn't actually hit anybody, then yeah, okay, never mind. With the shot though. Mm, okay, not worth going for the green ult there. <coughs> 
So we just want to maintain the slow push at the moment. Uh, they can't really farm properly in the swift state. They'll need help from their jungle, so I'm just going to ward there, make sure we see if we have vision of Kha'Zix if he decides to try and help. But the moment the misfortune decides to overextend, uh, Luna should be pushing a bit harder. All right, I mean, these melees are just kind of like walking too far forwards as well, for no reason. We want to finish shoving this mid wave before, or sorry, this bot wave before we go for the Drake, man. We can't leave the wave frozen here, man. Go for the Drake off there. Alright, there we go. I can also just back from my go force now, so I'm gonna do that. Let's do this. An ally has been slain. Okay, you might be able to help me get a kill here. I mean, would be really free right now. Oh, there he is. Yeah, she actually backed. Oh, shit. Well, that was fast. All right, no need to do the combo here. All right, nice. <laughs> Let's take myself a red buff there. All right, I'm actually just gonna be really cheesy here. I don't know if it'll pay off or not, but oh, she's already here. Fuck, that's unlucky timing. Maybe I can still cheese her then, though. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that's the dumbest kill of all time, holy shit. Uh, I don't know if I'd heal up there or not. Uh, we should leave the wave here, just leave it. My god, alright, but you see that burst? Thank god I killed her that fast, otherwise she would've had the damage to kill me. Alright, gonna be able to get a BF sword here. Gonna be going for the Bloodthirster second. Once we finish the Bloodthirster, we're also gonna have a massive fucking shield. Especially when we have red, because we're gonna have overheal and Bloodthirster combined. Gonna make us really tank and durable. Which is what we want as a fellows. Very vulnerable champion. Which is why I loved Shield Bow so much. I got uh, one blue ammo left, which is good because uh, I would I would have gotten rid of it too early there <clears throat> without realizing it. Where's Leona? Shave care or what? Let's see if I can cheese Misfortune here, maybe. You see that damage? Wait, she even died. Holy shit, hell. Maybe to a minion? Goddamn. 
Look at that burst. Like, how, do you think she saw that coming? Me just one-shotting her under turret? Like, god damn, man. I never knew Aphelos had this much kind of burst until Aphelos players have kept doing this to me recently. Like, obviously, white does a lot of DPS, but I only auto-attacked her literally twice there, you know? That was the... Oh, okay, I'm dead here. <laughs> I'm just trying to take down the... Or do as much damage to the turret as I can there before I die. Uh, death is kind of inevitable there, my bad. Shouldn't have been that far forwards. Okay, I would finish Berserkers here, but I don't have the gold, so... Um, actually, let's see if there's something else I can do. Yeah, fuck it, let's do this. I feel like mobility is pretty good on a fellow, so upgraded boots is pretty good. The only reason I didn't rush Berserkers is, you know, like I said, I wanted to try out the uh, Gil Force Burst. Okay, nice, we got the Drake. Puts us at Soul Point, so that's really good. Nice fucking Luna ult there. Shame nobody was there to capitalize. Just love that I can just Gale Force on her without ult, I think. Actually, let's just shove this in. Be able to dive. Oh, there's a Kha'Zix. He probably doesn't have ult, right? Okay. Ah, oh, fuck me. Wait, there was another Mundo here as well. Seriously? Wait, she might die. Oh, yes, I got her. Let's go. Holy shit, nice one. Oh man, if not for Mundo. Yeah, look at it. Look at all this damage that was Mundo. Holy shit. I actually would have, uh. Rather for sure. I guess he TP'd? I must be blind because I had. I did not see the TP at all. My bad. Wait, there's no reason for you to be here. Just go mid then. You should survive at least one more wave. Yeah, perfect. Please don't shove this wave. Please don't. Oh my god, man. He's gonna die for it too. Where is he? Well, okay, he did, but at least I got a revenge kill. <laughs> Jesus. Oh shit. Oh. Didn't notice there was a Luna here, my bad. Could've placed that turret a bit better. It actually could've been a triple weapon combo. <coughs> so I'm waiting- Mainly, for the most part, I'm just waiting for my ultimate to come up. Before I, uh... Before I do my guild first. Shit. Yeah, a bit risky, but I think he's not gonna jump up. Alright, here we go. Wait, hang on. Wait for it, wait for it. I might have been able to do it there, but I'm not sure about the FL assault range, actually. Hmm, she's scared. Oh god. Now I'm scared. Okay, that works. Damn. Okay, so far so good. Shit. Um... Okay, that was great. I wasn't sure if there would be anybody here or not. But I guess juking around this pillar is pretty effective. No, we're not gonna surrender him here, man. I've already done so much damage with this skill force, goddamn. Alright, going for that. Infinity Edge, third item. Could also do Lord Dominic's here for the Mundo. I would do more damage to him with this, but uh, I guess the rest of them definitely going to be doing more damage with Infinity Edge. And I think uh, Mundo is not really 
too much of an issue right now, hopefully. Uh, let's hope that doesn't change. What am I getting rid of here? Green. Does a fellow assault ultimate cooldown go down per level? It's because my tooltip isn't saying that it does, but it's 10 seconds lower now than it was at rank 1. I'm confused. I think it must. I'm pretty sure it was 120 earlier. Uh, if there's a blitz here, I'd be dead, but I guess there isn't. Too risky. My bad. I'm so fucked. God damn it. My bad. Okay, could be a good fight for the team though. Bit of a necessary muzzle hold there, I think, but. Oh shit. Six. A lot of damage with the Kha'Zix there. Not gonna be a kill though. Alright, so as I revive, I'm probably gonna end up gonna be wanting to go bot. Seems where the wave is. Malzahar is already covering mid. I just quickly collect a wave here before I group mid. Uh, should have grabbed the pink as I was leaving base, but I don't think it's worth turning around for. No, we're not surrendering. Fuck off. I can just grab two waves before I leave, I think. This could uh, backfire potentially, but we'll see. Probably not. I don't think anybody's in position to kill me here. And also stop by the Gromp. Actually, if I get the Gromp, I think I can also just back for BF Sword. Hmm, no, I can't actually. Not yet, at least. I can back now though. Like you may as well, if you would have to wait, you may as well just like head over towards your team and just see if anything might be happening and then you can join in the, in the meantime. If nothing happens, you can actually just back and wait for that. But there's no putting me, no, no putting me back when I'm still waiting for like 50 gold, you know? Because so of that time spent in base, it's time that I could be spending hovering with my team, you know? Making sure that I'm not needed. Okay, I can go for a wave here. What the fuck is he doing here? <laughs> and there you have it, guys! A fucking... Old... <laughs> Gil or a Gil Force combo, man. It's crazy. So yeah, I get, you can get so many solo kills with this. I never knew it. Like, old, a fellow assault on its own doesn't feel like it's all that good, but when you combine it with Gil Force, it actually just gives such a huge execute to your Gil Force. Look at this, 1,600 damage with, dealt with it already. What the fuck are you doing? Alright, that's sick. We can probably get Baron off of this. That was a huge shot that I got off of Victor there, too. So I'm actually massive now. Good shit. Oh. oh boy. Alright, nice. I don't really have to stay, but yeah, I'm just gonna back already. 
I'm pretty close to 16, but I should be able to grab that at any point. So I'll let Mazahar just grab all that farm. Uh, this balling wave is too far away, honestly, to go for that. So I'm just going to be grabbing wolves. This is going to be my way of uh, staying relevant in farm. I'm not doing a terrific job of that this game, honestly, but... I'm going to grab wolves real quick before I go mid and get some more from there. Wow, these feel like they haven't even been farmed in ages, actually. They were really squishy. Either that or I'm doing a billion damage, not to say. Place a pink there, make sure they don't have vision. Also make sure that it, this pink is really good in this kind of situation because we're about to be doing a uh, Drake soon probably. So I want to be able to make sure that I can just walk from here to there without getting like blitz hooked from here. It would be, it would take a really lucky blitz hook right now to catch me there, for example. <coughs> All right, nice pick on the Kha'Zix. Should ensure that this is a free Mountain Soul for us. There's no point in dragging this out though, I mean, they don't have a jungler. There we go. Ah, oh, I didn't get the kill though. That did. Oh well. And that's gonna be the game. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw the power of Gil for Cephalus. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, gamers.